Hello, 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 beautiful people. How are you guys doing today? So listen, it is our fourth day. Yes, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll and I am excited about it. So listen, guys, today I wanted to come really quick because uh, you know what? Somebody had asked me, Taria, have you been doing my ugliest beautiful? And I said, no, I haven't. Although I have been keeping track of the days. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is day 916, 915. I have to double check and make sure. But guys, my ugly is beautiful again. It started because one day I was in the gym. I was going to do this. I was on this lifestyle journey. I was going to make this big old change. And I was just going to be a better me. And, um, and. I was in the gym working out and I was in front of these two girls. They were way thinner than me. Okay. And I just started crying. And when I got to the car, um, the Lord was like, look, chill out. You are doing what you need to do to get to a better place and be a better you. This looks really ugly right now, but there is something beautiful happening at the same time. And he said, you don't know what those girls went through. They may be looking back at you thinking, man, I wish I had curves like that chick back there. You never know. So, guys, with that being said, definitely my ugly is beautiful. It's definitely coming back. I'm definitely going to keep track of the days. Definitely let you guys know how my workout is going, what my regimen is going. Because I don't do diets. I never like that term, diet. You know, it's, it's really about a different lifestyle change. Am I saying that I will never go get another piece of church's chicken again? I don't even know if y'all had church's chicken. or y'all say, but if you know, if you've ever thought about a good old piece of fried chicken, what old good old pepper but i don't like peppers i just like the juice um it's like that that's how the church's chicken is here down that's what the church's chicken is down here in the south but with me saying that guys it is just so important that we just stay focused on what we're doing and know why we're doing it it always doesn't look good and it's not always and then it doesn't always feel good to us but at the end it will work out it will work out Yesterday, I was talking about our gifting and knowing what our gifts are and how um, we are the solution to somebody's problem. And that is so true. And even with that being said, guys, we have problems. And we've got to know that there are people who are in our lives and will be placed in our lives to help us solve the problems that we ourselves have. And so, guys, my um, tidbit for today is for us to start to open our eyes up to the people in our lives and evaluate what they're there for, why they're there, what asset are they, or what liability are they, what role do they play, what role do we play with each other, because it's a partnership. Um, we're not in a parasitic relationship where one person leeches off of the other and drains them until they're dry and then they move on to the next person. Those relationships are toxic and we have to um, eliminate them. We have to eliminate them. So, guys, I am excited. I'm excited about the new year. I'm excited about everything that is going on. I'm excited. I'm, I'm so excited. And, um, yeah, we're going to keep this thing going. We're, we're going to be consistent. Um, somebody once told me that, Taria, you may not do everything that you want to do every day, but do something keep the momentum going don't just stop because when you stop it becomes harder and harder to start back so guys i i i say this all the time and i mean it i love y'all guys for real for real for real because we're all in this together and iron sharpens iron all right guys till next time